Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the Solo Process Temperature Controller. Now it is available in several DIN sizes. The first one is the 32nd DIN, then a 16 DIN, a quarter DIN, and a sorry an eighth DIN here, and then a quarter DIN. And there are different control modes that we can use with the Solo. It is they have a PID with the auto tuning, on off, manual, and ramp soak. The outputs that are available are relay, voltage pulse, current, and linear voltage. The inputs um, are provided with a various uh, thermocouple input. It can also do RTD, current, and voltage. So it is a true process controller. Um, we also have three alarm outputs that can be set, and each one can have 17 different types of alarms that, that we can uh, do with them. And the most interesting thing is it has built-in Modbus. This is a, the serial ASCII or RTU, which is already built into the controller itself. And what you can do is if we go to the Automation Direct website, we can download the free software and the actual user manual. And the user manual is complete. You can download individual chapters or the complete manual. Now, if we, uh, the first thing we have to do is, in order for us to uh, communicate to this controller, is to actually power it up. So we will power this controller up, and it will come up with an initialization screen, and then it will show you what the present value and set value are. So on the display itself, we have our present value and our set value. Present value in red, set value in green, and we have a couple of buttons. We have a set button here, we have up and down arrow, and we have a, a return or a rotate button, I like to call it, so we can go through different menus. So the first thing we're going to do is actually take a look, and we're going to go into the initialization mode we sit we hit and hold the set value for three seconds and the first thing that comes up is our input type and currently right now we're going to use a J type thermocouple here degree C and we're going to ignore a lot of these until we actually get to the online which is this setting right here now it defaults to the off position but we want it on like it is and if we want to change that what you do is you hit um, the down arrow key and it will start flashing or the up arrow key and you'll see it flashes erratic erratically and then as soon as we hit um, the set it will actually then be solid again that's how each parameter is set in here so we're going to go RTU on our Modbus communication. The controller number is going to be 1. Now each controller will have a unique number on the system. 9600, baud, the 8 data bits. We have even parity. We have one stop bit. Okay, and then we're back to the main. Hitting set one more time, we'll bring it back to our initial present value and set value reading. Now attached to this we have our, 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 our USB to 485 converter. You see we have two indicating lights. We have a green light and we'll have a, an orange light that will flash that will show communication. And on a previous uh, um, blog I have shown how to install and ensure this is operational. So going back and looking at our our software what we need to do is download our software and that is right here on the automation direct website we download the software itself and we'll put it into a uh, folder and one thing about the software when you download it, it is not um, compressed so it is just a single executable file that you get called ADC 1105 .exe. The other thing that 
I like to do is go to a site called BCheck, and they have an application called Rezo. Now Rezo will automatically set the resolution of the screen that we want to control for this controller. So you copy or you take the executable file of this and put it in the same directory as the um, Automation Direct Solo software. And when, when you run it, what will happen is you get a screen like this where, where you can set the actual graphic resolution for that particular program. And in our case, we need 1024 by 768. That's necessary in order to see all the parameters that we can change with this software. And once we have that software, then what we do is we can call this up. And on my screen here, what you'll notice is that we have um, the menu. We have uh, the, PQ, the protocol menu. We have our configuration. We have our monitor. We have our command test. We have a close and we have it about the program. And what we have to do is follow this in order from left to right, and this will allow us to set up the controller. So let's go to the first one, which is protocol, and we'll set this to COM5 and 9600, and we want RTU, which automatically sets everything up, one stop it, we'll say OK. Then we'll go to our connect, our address was one, so we can hit connect. What you'll now see is we are communicating to our controller. You'll see the present value and set value. If I were to hold on to my thermocouple, it should see the temperature starting to increase, which we do. <coughs> excuse, excuse me. On both the screen and on the controller itself. And in here, we can actually set the different set points. We can put it to, we'll say 15. You notice it's red, and as soon as I hit the enter key, it becomes green or uh, black again. And it automatically dictates the setting on both this uh, screen and it's also our uh, temperature controller. Okay. We'll actually uh, exit this program and we can go to monitor and our monitor we can actually uh, monitor the device itself is address number one we can operate we can do 10 <coughs> excuse me at a time so we'll start this our sampling rate is one second and what you'll see is here is our temperature controller being done so I can increase temperature a little bit and we'll see it increasing. So that's the monitor. So we can close that off. This is my command test. This is where I can send individual commands to the controller. So address one, our command, read register, our function, um, Say three function one thousand word count one and that sets the command up here and we send this out and we can receive this so we can go into manuals and actually look at what we have coming and going and this is our closed program so that's it for today thanks for watching and you can see more information on our website at www.accautomation.ca